Hello everyone, happy Sunday. It is the 6th, February 6th, 2022. Maybe, let me look. So it is February 6th, 2022. Sundays are usually reserved for meal prepping, baking, and trying out things. And I have these things right here. Uh, these are the high key blondie baking mix. I went to Marshall's back in December and I picked this up, it was on clearance with $5 and I figured, let me try it out. Now, if you look at the nutritional facts, which I can try to pull up very close to me, <laughs> uh, for it to be prepared, it's 120 calories and that's using two eggs and just a fourth a cup of butter and some um, vanilla extract. I always like to uh, figure out ways to try to, you know, limit or lower the calories. So I'm just going to show you what I did to uh, shave off 40 calories from this uh, baking mix. Just so you can see it in more detail, this is a nutritional box. And again, they asked for two eggs, a fourth of a cup of butter, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So instead of using two eggs, I'm going to use one egg and some egg whites. And instead of the fourth of a cup of butter, I am going to use some organic, uh, no sugar added applesauce. And I'm just going to do a one to one ratio. So uh, for a fourth of a cup, that's 56 grams. So I'm going to use 56 grams of applesauce and then 60 grams of egg whites to uh, match the one egg. So if I, um, oh not if, but <laughs> as I do those uh, substitutions, it goes from 120 calories prepared to 80 calories oh well, 81 technically so uh that's about 40 calories cut off now i don't know if it's going to have a big impact um i haven't made these as repaired before but again i always like uh figuring out ways to just you know produce it and even if it doesn't come out well well it's a practice right um it's always just testing things out so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how it looks uh beforehand i'm using an 8x8 pan, uh, horribly lined with uh, some parchment paper. Oh, sorry, to go back to, I'm using the same um, 12 servings as well. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna cut it four by three um, on when I finish it. And I'm following the same instructions as well. So these are the instructions. So mix and then do the liquids and combine and bake for 22 minutes on 325. Uh, so yeah, let me show you guys uh, the mix and then I'll show you the mixture and how it looks before it goes into the oven. So this is how the mix looks. So it has a uh, no sugar added uh, chocolate chips and it's almond flour based. This is the liquid. So again, one egg, um, 60 grams of egg whites and I'll post a screenshot too <laughs> of the ingredients. Um, 56 grams of unsweetened, um, what is it? Uh, applesauce <laughs> and a tablespoon of vanilla extract which does have calories so it actually is 86 uh, calories per uh, serving 12 servings uh, again lined it up so I'm gonna mix the liquid to the dry mix that up and uh, bake at 325 for 22 minutes so I'll show you guys how that looks I'm really bad with parchment paper as you can see so uh, this is going in the oven for 22 minutes on 325 I'll show you guys how it looks when it's done all right, after letting them rest for a couple of hours, this is how they look. So again, I did 12 servings and time for the taste test. They're very moist and that's the applesauce, you know, <laughs> that's what applesauce does, but we'll give them a try and yeah, I'll let you guys uh, see my reaction. So these are how they look, have a ton of the sugar-free chocolate chips. This is like half of a square, so I'm not holding out the full bar, but um, let's give these a taste. Those are really good. Now they remind me of like chocolate chip muffins and it's like the grocery store chocolate chip muffins and it doesn't have any sugar and it tastes like it does. It has allulose which is you know sweetener but those are pretty good. I recommend them. I'm probably not gonna buy it again unless I see it again on clearance because I think it's expensive online. Um, I guess I'll link it on Amazon, but I, you know, again, I got them on clearance for $5, but the substitutes, mm-hmm, I'm very happy about the substitutes and how it came out really good, very moist, and that was because of applesauce, so definitely recommend, uh, if you, again, want to buy it, buy it and try it with those substitutions, which I will, uh, post down below. One week later. 
Good morning, everyone. It is about 7.52 a.m. February 15th, Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. I figured, let me share a braces update because still rocking the braces. And I said in earlier clips, oh, we'll be off in eight to 10 months, which was gonna be uh, between September, um, ish kind of uh so obviously that didn't happen uh last year and it's been a slow progress i didn't even think i had like a case that could last 15 months because i i'm gonna post a little before clip um not clip actually you know before picture right here uh so you can see how my teeth looked uh before i started my braces journey i had a gap so uh diastema uh, here uh, and I have a tooth that needed to be rotated uh, in the bottom so uh, yeah here we are 15 months later now today I am scheduled to get them off <laughs> however <laughs> however uh, my bottom tooth is not a hundred percent aligned yet I'm gonna go up closer and I'm also gonna sh share uh, another pic I took on Monday so not Monday, sorry, Sunday of this past week of how it looks. So you can see here, that tooth right here, arrow, is not fully aligned yet. And that tooth was 180 degree turned uh, initially. And again, share before pick. Um, so it has been 15 months of trying to turn this tooth. Now my orthodontist, he didn't do any IPR or anything like that. Um, Essentially, he just, you know, has been using steel ties. And I'm not sure if I want to delay it. Well, actually, I am sure. I, I do want to delay it. But I'm hoping that, you know, I don't want to keep this on forever. And it has helped with, you know, root stability. So I'm very happy um, I didn't get them off initially 10 months. Because Whenever I flossed, actually, my upper teeth where the gap was, it used to, like, reopen slightly and then close, you know, like, after a couple of minutes. But, you know, having it be stabilized, now whenever I do floss, I um, it doesn't reopen or anything else like that. So I'm happy for the time uh, my teeth have been able to stabilize. But, you know, here we are uh, 15 and a half months later, and my bottom tooth is still not aligned, so I don't know what to do about that. Um, and I'm going to tell my orthodontist, listen, if, if, if possible, you know, I'd rather hold off on taking off my braces for another month or so until this tooth is um, stabilized. I do not want to do I IPR, though. That's interproximal reduction. Essentially, they file down in between your teeth. If he says, well, the only way you could do that is through IPR, then I think I'm just going to leave it as is. It's not perfect. And I feel like I'm still gonna get bothered by it. It's a small detail. It's funny because I didn't really care about that tooth. I was only care. I only put on braces for my uh, gap. But here I am now nitpicking every little small detail. But I'm gonna share, you know, what happens if these are gonna come off today, or if I'm gonna be in these for another month. I mean, I'm not gonna have them on like forever obviously and my plan is to get them off before I go on vacation in May and um you know I'm just gonna just keep on going with the groove and I can tolerate another month in these braces it's just you know look at that bottom tooth it's not a hundred percent like you can't even see it's slightly a, a slightly turned still so it's not even fully aligned and again I'm, I know I'm like the small details nitpicking but I think I should be a hundred percent happy you know before the braces are removed and I don't want him to be like well you could have this you know with Invisalign or with retainers um I'm getting Holly retainers um and I'm gonna say well I'd rather have it in braces but again this has been an ongoing thing and I don't even know if it can be moved a hundred percent my orthodontist is so conservative on this thing it's just like he doesn't I, I mean I don't mind my orthodontist um, he's been great um, and you know my teeth have looked phenomenal and I'm very happy with the progress I've had with my teeth it's just this one tooth this one tooth has been an issue so anyways, I don't know if I'm going to get them off today. We shall see. Um, I guess I will share in the next clip. You guys are going to see my teeth. <laughs> 
after the appointment and what it's going to entail. Either off or delay. I'm leaning towards delay, but we'll see. Maybe something will happen, but I don't know. I don't know. So, upper teeth are off. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They look so pretty. Um, that feeling of sliminess, I don't feel that. I feel like it's smooth. Um, you can see I still have the bottom. So initially, like, well, we can do it like Invisalign option kind of thing where you, you can have like, um, you know, liners to try to fix them. Like, no, I'd rather just keep on the braces for another month or so. Um, and it's fine with me. So he's like, okay, we can do the upper then and get that removed. I'm like, oh, okay. So removal ah, I can't even talk removal process went pretty well like no um you know bleeding I, I didn't feel any pain either I know some people might have experienced pain before with braces removal but I didn't feel anything um and you know I tried to keep up with good hygiene so I was flossing um and using a water flosser and everything so these are how they look I feel like I have like jackrabbit teeth. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I also have a bonded retainer. Only on the two teeth here. It's just like a small wire. I can't really show you guys kind of. I'm trying to show you. I'll have to try to post a pic. Um, and I got my Holly retainer, which I have here. What I didn't like is that my orthodontist didn't really like properly show me. Like he's like, yeah, just push in and everything else. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm clearly struggling here. So I'm just gonna like watch some videos and make sure I'm putting that in right. And I chose blue as the retainer color, retainer box, <laughs> retainer box cover. But I can't, I love my tees. Like, I told him like I'm very happy with my upper teeth I really am like they look so pretty I love them um and um yeah I mean it's just gonna get used to wearing the retainer I have such a bad lisp with the retainer I had a bad lisp before the retainer so on top of that it's gonna be a struggle but yeah I mean I can't believe I don't have a gap anymore um and I'm excited to see uh, hopefully in six weeks when uh, my bottom uh, braces are off and it's gonna be um, you know before May so <laughs> just in six weeks but yeah I really like them and I think they're really pretty and I'm very happy how my upper teeth look um, initially I was like oh my gosh what if there's something wrong what if there's like an over jet or I can't see anything but I'm just gonna embrace it I look I'm very happy that how they look and my uh, gums you can see they're not really inflamed again I tried to keep up with proper hygiene so I brushed morning and night I didn't do during lunch because I'm at work and I'm not brushing my teeth at work so I did morning and night at night I flossed I think it, it wasn't every day it was once every other day so usually like Monday Wednesday Saturday or Sunday and I always I use a water flosser every night though, so I used my water flosser every night, um, and brushed. And with the water flosser, I also added um, some not Listerine, but uh, mouthwash, uh, alcohol-free mouthwash. So yeah, again, I, I'm just like you know I'm stunting right here. Oh, one other thing is I didn't ask him to shave off any of the bottom teeth. I like my um like you can see that tooth right here i like the little the little details the little details i mean he said like your, your teeth don't need to be shaven off anyways the light just went out in the garage so that's why there's a little light difference but anyways he's like yeah you don't need to get your teeth shaven you're you're fine you're, you only do that when there's like extreme cases but anyway since the lights are off because i've been talking a bit i'm gonna come out back later and show you my uh, retainer struggle and you know fitting it on and whatnot and how i'm struggling but yeah they're off good morning everyone my lighting in my bedroom has a yellow tint so apologies for that uh i haven't been on stories in the past two days well I, since not since my um braces upper teeth removal 
people because the retainer which I have to wear you know 24 7 has been a nightmare um so basically the left side here is the molar side it's not fitting properly and I tried telling my orthodontist that and he completely brushed aside my um, concerns so I got that going for me he said that's the normal fit I'm like I don't think this is how it's supposed to fit um so anyways I called him yesterday and my orthodontist is only in once a week and it's on Tuesdays and uh, they're like, okay, you can see a different orthodontist at the practice. So I'm going in this morning to see a new orthodontist. So I want you guys to see what I'm talking about. So this is retainer and you just line it. Okay. Hell yeah. This place is fine. You see here? It's like, oh, it's basically not lined up. Compared to this side, which is lined up. Even trying to push it in, it, it's not working. So, I've been wearing it like this because this side is fine. You can see it's just sloped down. And I told my husband, not this, this. And he's like, oh, no, that's how it's supposed to be. This is not how it's supposed to be. So... Um, this has been constant pain on this side because it's not fitted properly, so my molar is basically having, like, this weird pressure there, so. So I'm back from the emergency appointment with the orthodontist. My retainer still doesn't feel 100%, but I'm kind of over it. Like, this practice is just so annoying, and it's just, like, there's only so much I can do without just, like, crying and getting upset. So... He made some slight changes, but it still feels weird and, like, in, like pressure. And he's like, oh, well, it was in pressure before, so just take some Tylenol. And if it doesn't feel better, you can come back next week and we'll do a scan again. So, I'm just, like, I'm just so done. I, I'd rather be in braces, to be honest, than deal with this. I really, really would because I'm just so over it but I'll it's like every time I try to voice like an issue it's like I'm getting dismissed about it so as you saw from the previous clips the retainer journey uh, was pretty rough I didn't expect it to be painful and tight but here we are we're six days later now so it's not the current day from that previous clip we are six days out from the braces removal and it, it feels better. Is it 100%? No. But it does feel better, which I'm very happy about. To go back a bit, uh, you know, I just felt like my concerns weren't being addressed. And I felt like, what is happening? I I mean, I knew I was going to have to wear a retainer. But I guess I was just kind of shocked. Like, it was painful. And I guess I was just my teeth getting used to it. I'm still trying to learn how to talk clearly, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, I think enunciating, having a wider mouth has helped. Uh, but yeah, I think right now my teeth are settled into the retainer, so I don't feel pain anymore. The only thing I'm experiencing now, left side, you know, where the problem issue <laughs> has been occurring, is I, I'm experiencing TMA, TMJ. And I believe that's tender muscular joint pain. I'll put it, you know, here, <laughs> list it out. Uh, so I am experiencing a little bit of that. And I think, again, it might be just related to adjusting with the retainer and just my jaw in general. So I'm really trying to just, like, do some muscle exercises, like lifting up my jaw, you know, things like that. But right now it feels mild. Yesterday was kind of intense a little bit. Sleeping has been good. So I haven't used Tylenol. Um, and I was using Tylenol like for the last three days. Like I think it was Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and Thursday of last week when I got them. Uh, when I was using Tylenol. So I feel good. Well, I, I feel okay. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit worried about the bottom when they get removed. I'll share that obviously. That's going to be in six weeks at the end of March. Uh, but I'm about to head off to the gym. Quick weight check. I weighed in on February 19th, I think? 20th? I'll put the date again. <laughs> I, I don't know my days. I, oh, 20th, because today is the pre President's Day. So, 
I weighed in on the 20th. So, the 20th, I weighed in at 188.8. Um, I already know the 180s are going to be, like, the most popular. I already know the 180s are going to be, like, forever because that's just my body and I already know my body so I already know like I'm gonna spend a good amount of time in the 180s my goal is to try to reach 179 which is officially BMI overweight category uh, by the end of March so I'm hoping to reach that uh, by the time my lower bottom braces are removed which is March 29th so that's like a mini goal it's not like an expected like if I don't reach it I'm gonna cry and you know binge eat or something like that and you know it's, it's whatever but it's just like a, you know a personal like oh it'd be really nice so anyways I'll end off this vlog if anything happens I'll let you guys know I guess on Instagram follow me on Instagram I'm going to work on my talking and speech, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.